Hello everyone, welcome to Riches Tech, myself Karthik Pannuswami. Today we are going to look at one of the interesting topic called nested classes in Java. So first we have to understand what is nested classes and here I have given the agenda where we are going to looking into what are nested classes in Java and how we can able to write nested classes and how we can able to access the variables and the methods and what are different types of nested classes in Java. So let's first understand what are nested classes in Java, right? So let's say I have a class called a uh, public class outer which is a class name outer inside that I have a variable called int x equal to 10 and I have a main method so here I have created an object for the outer class outer o equal to new outer of and using this object o o dot x I am able to access the value 10 right let me go and execute this program okay now I am able to get the value 10 so when I say um, so this is working fine right so when I say nested classes are nothing but a class inside another class so what does that mean so generally as we know that a class is nothing but it contains the uh, variables and methods right so here let's say this is the variable and this is a method right but what is this class inside a class so we can able to create a class inside a class isn't it let's go and create it let's say i'm creating a class called class nested class hmm yeah it uh, it uh, it uh, If you, if you guys see here so it actually accepts right so we can able to create a class inside a class so this is called nested class so let's say what does this nested class contains again same variables and methods right so similarly i can create a variable called int y is equal to 20 okay so okay this is inside this particular nested class and this is inside the our outer class right so let's say how i can able to create an object of this uh, nested class first we have to create an object for the outer class and using that uh, we have to navigate into the object of the uh, inner class this is nested class right so the way usually how we can create an object for um, the outer class is like this right so outer o is equal to new outer of right so here we are going to create a object for this nested class so let's say i copy this so using this outer dot then inner class name then let's say n is the object um, or a reference name is equal to new outer of so here i'm going to get an object of this outer class using this object reference i'm going to say dot new nested class of so here you go so now i'm able to get an object for this nested class okay now if i want to print the value of y so this is n dot y right so because i'm going to print the value of y which is inside the nested class object n right let me go and execute the program here you go i can able to get the value as 20, 20 for y and 10 for x so basically this is the concept of nested class so uh, let me summarize this so nested classes are nothing but a class inside another class is called nested class and how we can able to write it so uh, similarly the, how we define our variables and methods similarly we can able to write a class inside another class and the way how we can able to get a object of the inner class this nested class is nothing but so using the outer class object so the new outer of this is the object of object reference for object of this outer class using the object of outer class we can again create a object of inner class so here without this outer class this inner class doesn't exist so that is why it is called nested class and we can able to um, create and do any stuff within this inner class as well this nested class so there are different types of nested class in java so basically they classify uh, broadly into two types one is static and non-static and um, static means let's say this class if i say this is a static keyword here then this class becomes a static nested class and if i don't put the static keyword for this nested class then that becomes a non-static nested class so we have a separate video where we'll be explaining about what is a static class and what is a non-static class and again internally for non-static class they again define um, they divided into uh, member inner class local inner class and anonym anonymous inner class so i have separate video going forward uh, on the next steps where we'll be explaining about what is a static nested class what are a uh, non-static uh, nested class within, within which we will explain about uh, member inner uh, class and local inner class and anonymous inner class so hope you guys understand uh, this particular concept of what is a uh, uh, inner class like what is a nested class and what are the different types of nested class we have and uh, so what you guys can do you can take this code from the description and you can put it in your eclipse and start 
uh, running this code and understand how it actually works so you guys can play around this particular code and let me know your uh, comments in the comment section and i will be more than happy to assist if you have any issues or any errors and uh, please uh, if you guys like the video if you guys, if you guys like the video please hit the like button and uh, share it with your friends and also subscribe to our channel i will see you in the next video guys thank you bye bye